Indianapolis's um, native soil is a dense, non-porous clay um, that can become oversaturated fairly quickly. Um, and so in a lot of these areas, the housing density is uh, fairly tight, so less than an acre uh, of land. Uh, so you have multiple septics working in close proximity to one another. Um, and during rain events, uh, with all the septics working at the same time, that soil can become overly saturated very quickly uh, and can cause septics to uh, fail or reach their expected uh, lifespan prematurely. In 2016, Citizens Energy Group uh, decided to reevaluate the Septic Tank Elimination Program, or, or STEP program as we commonly refer to now, when we transitioned to the all-terrain sewers to achieve a more cost-effective and customer-friendly program. Um, the all-terrain sewers offered a lower installation cost, uh, an overall lower project cost, and actually helped uh, uh, customers uh, achieve a lower connection cost as well. It's really a great deal compared to the old Barrett Law um, or the gravity sewer step work that they used to do where homeowners you know had to pay for the entire road frontage uh, property frontage of the installation um, you know fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. The Barrett Law was the old uh, DPW uh, program that was in place to do away with septic tanks. You know they would design this this project um, it would be a gravity project. Uh, they, they would solicit a contractor, um, come on board, and it would be a right-of-way to right-of-way disruption. And then the property owner would pay, you know, for their 100-foot um, uh, property frontage, whatever the value of that project was. Um, so it was, it was very invasive for the community. It was very invasive for financially for the community. Um, so the, the low pressure model that citizens replaced that with when they took over the wastewater system from the city um, is a much more viable long-term solution. In the prior programs when we were installing gravity sewers, most of the time the only available location was the center of the street. So um, we would have to dig down and open up the entire road in order to install the gravity sewer, which ultimately resulted in repaving most of the neighborhood. With the low pressure sewer systems, we were actually able to find uh, spots outside of the roadway just due to its small diameter. Uh, and we can keep most of the installation in the grass, which is much easier to restore than repaving or resurfacing a street. Design build uh, delivery method uh, for STEP uh, was conceived basically to make sure that we as a team uh, be it the designers, the contractors, uh, and then obviously the end users, the, the homeowners, uh, get efficiency in terms of both schedule and cost. Uh, that was one of the things that we actually drove uh, to the homeowners, telling them that, you know, as much as you have this, you know, feeling against, but these systems are reliable. You know, for them, the biggest thing was, you know, upkeep, maintenance, you know, uh, the, the bills that keep coming with, for example, the the power consumption and you know, these were some of the things and but but on the same note once they kind of hear about the technology itself and how fast this is going to help them kind of come on board um, uh, it, it worked out fine the benefits to indianapolis uh, that the all terrain sewers and grinder pumps provide is a reduction in uh, a potential failed septic systems in the future um, you eliminate the uh, potential for raw sewage ponding in yards and, and getting into streams and ditches uh, in, in neighborhoods. Getting citizens buy-in that this is a, uh, an appropriate sewer and a, a rugged and reliable technology um, from a system standpoint that these systems will work and this entire neighborhood of three, four hundred people can get connected using small diameter pipe and uh, horizontal drilling as opposed to ripping up roads and they have to become a paving company before they can wrap up the job. Our savings just on mainline alone installation, uh, we've seen over a 50% reduction in cost due to the smaller diameter pipe is inherently cheaper, uh, as well as the installation costs have significantly reduced. Instead of having large open trenches, uh, we are now able to use horizontal directional drilling, uh, which shaves prices uh, significantly. Uh, it's a much more efficient, much more cost-efficient installation method. 
over the time, the cost efficiencies have been met, definitely. Uh, but the projects have also been done on time and schedule. I mean, you know, and under budget, in fact, in many cases.